The Steam Deck is not only for AAA, but a retro gaming beast. The retro gaming is just so stunning and fascinating on this handheld. That's why we have this tutorial here for the Sega Dreamcast. Emulating Dreamcast on the Steam Deck is just a piece of cake. The game are running perfectly fine, with great visual on this 7-inch screen. This video will offer everything you need to play Sega Dreamcast on the Steam Deck. I have organized this video into several chapters as shown on the screen, so you can skip to any sections that you are interested in. One more thing I would like to address here is, please do not use Emule Deck Compressor 2 to convert Dreamcast game into CHD format, it will make the game unplayable. I hope Emule Deck can have this fixed soon. Ok, now let's get into this. The Emu Deck installation is pretty easy. I will quickly explain the installation process here. I'm gonna only cover RetroArch Dreamcast installation in this video. First, we need to switch to desktop mode on the Steam Deck. From desktop mode, use your Firefox internet browser and go to Emu Deck official website. I have the Emu Deck linked in my video description. From this website, we can directly download the Emu Deck installation file. Once it is downloaded, we can click Show in Folder. We need to copy the Emu Deck installation file onto our desktop in order to process this installation. And this is mandatory. Then we can double click on the Emu Deck installer from the desktop. Click Continue on this pop up window to confirm this installation. Let's select the custom mode here, which will give us more options to set up the Emu Deck. Then click Continue. I highly recommend to use SD card for your emulation games. Even with E1 type SD card, it works perfect with emu decks. So we will pick SD card as storage here. On this page, obviously we need to select Steam Deck. On this screen, it shows all emulators that are currently supported by emu deck. I will disable all the emulators except for the retro arc. The Dreamcast was built in. Also, I would like to point out that if you already have emulators installed on your Steam Deck, you should disable those emulators on this page. Otherwise, this installation will overwrite your existing emulators. You can always come back to this page and install any emulators that you like later on. Then click Continue. On this page, make sure you turn off the emulators that you have already installed on your Steam Deck. If you forgot doing this, the Emu Deck will overwrite your existing emulate settings. So please keep this in mind. I will only leave RetroArch highlighted on this page. Then we can click on Continue and move to the next page. On the next couple pages, you can pick any options you like. It's all about your personal tastes for the emulation game. Then just click Next. This is the new page that Emu Deck just added. And I think this is really helpful. This page will basically tell us what will be installed and what will be configured on our Steam Deck by this installation. So please make sure you check everything here before you click on the finish button. It is very critical to check here to make sure any of your existing emulators are excluded under the first two columns. If you forget to exclude them, this installation will overwrite your existing emulator's setting and configurations. After you make sure everything is correct on this page, then just click the finish button to process the installation. The Emu Deck now starts processing all the installation. It will take about 2 minutes to complete everything here. After everything's done, we can click Exit. Now we have completed the Emu Deck installation on the Steam Deck. The original Emu Deck installer is now changed to Emu Deck access icon on the desktop. That's all for the Emu Deck installation. Now let's set up the BIOS file first. I have all my game ROMs and BIOS files are all stored on this external hard drive. But you can always use Steam Deck and download them directly. Just remember Steam Deck is a PC. As you can see on this external hard drive, I have the Dreamcast BIOS folder here. If I go inside this folder, I have two files here. Make sure you have those two BIOS files. I am not able to share those files here, but they are pretty easy to find on the internet. We need to copy those two BIOS files into the emulation BIOS DC folder. If you don't have the DC folder on the BIOS folder, 
we can just manually create one folder and name it as DC. Then copy the BIOS files inside. The BIOS files has to be inside this folder, otherwise emulate will not function. Once we have the BIOS files in the correct folder, now we can actually open up the email deck and use the BIOS file checker to verify your BIOS file. If you have set the BIOS correctly, you should see Dreamcast BIOS detected, then you are ready to go. That's all for this part. Let's add some Dreamcast ROMs to the Steam Deck now. Before we start, I want to show the game ROM formats that are supported by the RetroArch Flycast emulator. So make sure your ROMs are in one of those formats. I will copy the game ROMs from my external hard drive to the Steam Deck during this process. But you don't have to do exact same way. There are all different methods to transfer ROMs to the Steam Deck. Or you can even use Steam Deck to download game ROMs. As you can see, I have three Dreamcast games on my external hard drive. And they are all single disk games with bin and Q format. All we need to do is copy the game ROMs into the emulation ROM Dreamcast folder. Because Dreamcast ROMs has multiple files, I will directly copy the game folder into the Dreamcast folder and keep it more organized. But you can also just leave everything under the Dreamcast folder. That will work too. Just make sure the game ROMs are copied into the folder location shown on the screen. Once we have the game ROMs in the correct folder, now we can open the email deck and go to Tools and Stuff. Click Steam ROM Manager. Click Yes. Then turn off passwords first. Then we need to look for Sega, Dreamcast, RetroArc, Flycast, and turn this on and click save then click preview button and click generate apps then all the game we just added will show up here next click save app to the steam then we can close the email deck and return to the gaming mode once we get back to steam gaming mode, just press steam button then go to library we will see all the games are show up here so we can launch the game from here directly. Now we can enjoy the Dreamcast game on the Steam Deck. If you have multiple disk games, we need to create the M3U file. I will show the process in this section without step-by-step -step explanation because I have already made a dedicated video for this. You can check out this video on the screen. I am assuming that you have already copied the multiple disk game onto your Steam Deck. Here is my multiple disk games on the deck. And it is Resident Evil. And this game has two disks. So let's start creating M3U file for this game.
I made this list which includes all the hotkeys for RetroArch.